Queensland is hoping to strike a deal for a national disability insurance scheme by putting up more than $1.7 billion. State political editor Cathy Border reports. Could Canberra and Queensland finally be singing from the same song sheet on a national disability scheme? Premier Newman signalling the change at the Windsor Cerebral Palsy Centre. Oh, yeah, it's a big announcement. The promise, the state spending up to $1.7 billion on disability support services in 2018-19. The gradual funding boost starting in 2014. The government claiming it's one of the biggest single increases in disability funding seen in Australia. Mr Newman admits the public service purge has helped free up the funds. The necessary fiscal repair measures, including staff reduction, and uh, other things that we've had to do mean that we can deliver. Well, we think that the number that the, that the federal government should put on the table is around about the $2.2 billion. The announcement met with relief. It means that people with disability have hope. They have hope that they will be able to get a shower every day. They will be able to have three meals a day. Queensland got gazumped by New South Wales and Canberra striking a deal last week. Whether we get a similar arrangement remains to be seen. Canberra estimates the Queensland plan is up to $300 million short. Today's announcement is not a national disability insurance scheme. The opposition says the plan and gives false sure hope. Where is the funding for the trial of the NDIS? Happy Border, 10 News.